There you go, look at that. Oh, they come right up to see me. Oh, look at that, that is awesome. You love moments like that. Right, I'm gonna show you in real time now, hopefully I got it right. I've gone back to a shallower rig now because I was getting on the bottom and it wasn't really happening. So I went from the bottom to the top, and I got about 15 inches deep, and I slapped the water like that three times. Chuck the pellet in, one, yeah, just bite straight away. Do that quick, it's gonna take a bit longer. Not time at the moment. But we have got 32 pound of fish. While you're playing the fish, get small pellet, chuck it in there, keep it coming up to the top of the water. If you've got fish off the top, unhook your fish, feed the swim. Chuck it back in there, feed the swim. It's only five or six little pellet. It brings them all off the bottom, and all that noise, this noise as well, brings the fish in. It keeps them bringing the fish in. You know, another fish straight away. Didn't click it. One, two, three. Two pound here, straight in there. That's three pound rather than two pound this one. And that hook has got caught inside the net. So we'll take that bit out. Put it up. Put back in there. One, two, three. We'll chuck that about 15 pellets in. One, two, three. Watch. Two, three, four, five. It's under again. Yeah, we've got a count on a count because it gets a, bit, gets a bit silent, no point. Get some pellet, feed the swim. Aggregation of marginal gains. The line ain't snapping, hook ain't snapping, which is a good sign. Add now, got the mishap, the mishap's happening now. Just trying to eliminate the mishaps as much as possible. Another three pounder, maybe three and a bit, I'll call it three. Fifty-six minutes. Feed the swim. Three. Float. One. Two. Raise your tail. One, two, three. Do it again. Change the pattern. Watch stuff out. This fish. Little dink. A little tiny little dink is what you got to strike at. And if you miss it, it doesn't matter. Slap the water once, or slap it twice, or three times. Whatever you're doing. Feed the swim. I got about 15 out there at that time. Just to keep me interested. Now it feels like it's, it's pulling harder this fish, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. So that's the case, you get some pellets in in, in, in the middle of the fight of the fish and throw some out, but not as many, only a few. That's five or six pound up, I looked at it unless it's foul look or something. Well, now I'm gonna because there's too much elastic coming out, I'm gonna reduce the amount of elastic. Yeah, and it destroyed the swim, the fucker. Now I'm going to feed it heavy. That's heavy. It's time to compensate for him swimming in the middle of my fish. Keep the pelt it low to the water. So it's touching the water. Keep feeding the swim. I'm going to feed quite heavy now. Bring the fish back in the area. If there was only a few fish and there weren't that many fish, don't overfeed. You'll scare the fish off. I'm going to get away with it in this lake. There we are. Nice five pounder. Yeah, see, that's five pounder. Caught in the right place, just. Swans are off. There you go, look at that. Oh, they come right up to see me. Oh, look at that, that is awesome. You love moments like that. Brilliant, there's a five pounder again, back in the fish. Going for head swim. One, two, three, four, five. Two hours, four seconds. Collectively, 250 pound of carp. I had 109 pound of carp in the first hour. So that means in the second hour, I've had another 141 pound of carp. That was full up, and I've only used this much taken out. Now watch what we've done with the swim. See him getting, going crazy again, so just so you can see. It's a bit dark out there. The shades come around. And that's how alive it is. And when they weren't feeding, I held back a bit like now, trying to encourage them to come to the top. So I'm going to set up the video so you can see what I have to do, because I have to keep changing tactics slightly to make them out of here. They're going crazy now, look. And let's feed really heavy and see what happens. Let's just chuck loads in there just to see what happens. Just make them go bonkers. 
Yeah, there's loads of fish there. That's what I'm saying. In this lake, you can get loads and loads. Of, and it's a pleasure day.